Dozens of Taliban in Afghanistan have put down their weapons in Lagman province and opted for peace over war. NATO TV's Alessandro Pavone reports. More than 80 Taliban have given up the fight in Lagman province and joined the peace process. The group wants the government to provide them job opportunities, security and homes. I request the government to provide shelter for 15 of us. I would like the government to provide us with jobs in the local police. I will be very active in my job and I will do it very well. We are supporting the government. The government should also support us and provide our security. It's not just the Afghan Taliban joining the peace process. Members of the insurgent groups, SB Islami, have also come forward. We had lots of problems between us and the Taliban. Then we called the peace council and we told them that we are ready to join the peace process. Up to this point, we haven't received any help, but I'm sure that they will. We are happy with the government and we are working with the government. This is our country. We will defend it and we will continue to defend it in future. The head of the Peace Council in Lagman province says that the reintegration of this group will be of great benefit to the community. This group that opposed the government are now joining the peace. It will reduce the impact of war and has a positive impact on security. This approach is very important. According to the rules of Peace Council, they will be helped to find a home, get a job and with courses. All these things will be given to them and they will be living in a healthy society. The people of Lagman seem to be in support of the process. It is good. War and killing of people will be low. The Taliban should accept this process and they must not fight again. We are also from this country in the same Taliban. The Taliban in the government will come together and that is a very good thing because our country will be rid of devastation. If they do not come together, it will be like a disease to the government and to the people. There has been a recent spate of fighters joining the peace process. But what makes this event more significant than others is that these former Taliban are reintegrating in Lagman, a mainly Pashtun province, the same ethnic group as the Taliban. Alessandro Pavone in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel. Arabic is the native language in Iraq, but English is quickly becoming popular for women in Basra province. U.S. forces have teamed up with the Women's Initiative Program and Psychological Operations to make English classes available. Sergeant Desiree Lau has more. Arabic is the native language spoken in Iraq. For some women in Basra, English is becoming a second language. I didn't even know this opportunity existed and I was really thankful when someone from the D9 approached me because I'm a certified English teacher in the state of Texas and they came and asked me if I would be willing to teach a class, a conversational English class. Um, once I got into it and I met with the ladies, their English skills were so advanced that it grew from a conversational English class to actually reading a novel. So this ties directly into Operation New Dawn because we're here, we're giving them the tools and, and the skills that they need in order to succeed. So it's all about a new beginning and we're teaching these women English, they're learning vocabulary words, they're actually reading a novel that's a self-help novel that will help them in any situation throughout their entire life. So it's all about a new beginning once we're gone. This is an experience that I never thought that I would have before. This is, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. There's so much more that we share with these ladies than just teaching them English. It's building relationships, it's helping them. It's for the women's initiative group, so it's, it's empowering them. It's, it's sharing across the cultures that the, the same issues. So I have gotten far more out of teaching these 15 women English than I ever imagined that I would get out of anything by coming to Iraq. Besides the lifelong bonds and, and the common issues, common women issues across the cultures, to give them a tool and a skill that they can use that will better them. To give them a, a common understanding and, and a hope. I, I learn as much from these ladies as they learn from me. These women are amazing women. They, they are modern. They are progressive, they are highly intelligent, and I have enjoyed immensely um, their relationships, their friendships. We have developed a lifelong bond 
So whether I learn Arabic or not, I have learned more from these women than I could ever teach them. They have given me more than I can give them. For USD South, 36th ID Public Affairs, I'm Sergeant Desiree Lau, Basra, Iraq. That's a look at what's happening downrange. Remember, you can download or watch these stories anytime on demand at pentagonchannel.mil.